to run a long video because I want to show you from scratch um, how we work with LCA. Uh, and when I say from scratch, it's it's using the Danish template. Uh, so that's already a little bit of, of cheating uh, because in the Danish Archicad template, we have included the, the design LCA plugin. Uh, we have included that property step that you need uh, on your uh, elements to, to be able to calculate the LCA. And we actually also made a, a bunch of building materials with U2 values and lifespan uh, already included. And that means when you use this template, you can start modeling. And the second you put real materials on the model, it will start calculating uh, LCA. If you don't have a template like ours, you might be able to get one from the local distributor of Rackingham. Um, and that means you can um, put composites on your project like I do here. You can see the exposure of the, the slabs, so I just want to fix that. Um, otherwise, you can make your own um, materials with CO2 data and put it in your own template. And then when you model, it will automatically calculate the LCA. And that's a very nice way of working. So you don't have to find EPDs, these environmental product descriptions from the, the producers of the materials uh, and insert the CO2 on every material every time you start a new project. So in the video here, I'm modeling um, as fast as I can. Um, and not only the building, but I also added a terrain and a small entrance. Uh, and to do the energy calculation later on, uh, that's also included in the LCA calculation, I need to place rooms inside my building. Uh, and I don't think it makes sense to just have one big room for the whole building. So I just want to add some partition walls. Uh, and they have a CO2 footprint also. So that's just a more precise LCA calculation. The same thing with the with the staircase uh, that also produces some, some CO2. So let's add those things that we know will be in the building from scratch. Let me just look at this in 3D. I can see the top step. I have made a small mistake, so I'll just make that better. You can also see that my walls, partition walls, are going through the roof. So I'll just connect them also. I guess you guys out there that you are comfortable with modeling in Archicad, so this is probably the same mistakes that I do that that you might have done when you started using Archicad many years ago. So of course you don't do that anymore. And now I'm placing the rooms inside the building uh, and they will determine the outside walls for the energy calculation. And to determine the, the roofs, I need to cut the, the zones with the roof. So the zones have to touch all the outer parts of the building. So here you can see what I think is a sweet spot for the LCA calculation uh, in detail level. So we need materials, uh, but it doesn't have to be a fully detailed building. And now I can open my design LCA palette and look at the LCA calculation. And it's already there. I don't know if you can see it on your screen, but I see 83,000 uh, kilos of CO2 on the building so far. I can jump into my settings. See, I calculate over 50 years. I have ticked on the phases that I need. Um, and I can also look at my materials. So in the, the time say I have a material browser and I can see the different materials and the CO2 values that are linked to these materials. I can see if they're calculated by cubic meter or square meter or kilograms and how long time the service life is for each material. So I think we need to do the energy calculation now. So I'll jump into to energy evaluation. And this is what was formerly known as Eco Designer Star. And then here I do a thermal block and I put um, the operation type uh, on it and I add all my rooms to this block. So it's just um, a living space. So all the rooms will be uh, attached as that. 
Um, but if you have a building that is uh, partly offices, partly apartments, then you have to do two different um, thermal blocks. <laughs>